Hey YouTube, I'm back for another Thoughts and Impressions video, and this time it's for none other than my homie, Mr. Dude 206. That simple fuck asked me to do a Thoughts and Impression on an actually a really good game called The Last Blade, produced by SNK in 1997. Rated at 474 megs. It is a 2D weapons based fighter. Really cool game. It's considered really the unofficial sequels to the Samurai Showdown games. Uh, really good game. Basically, the plot takes place in uh, 1863 during the Bakumatsu period. If you don't know what the fuck the Bakumatsu period is, basically when Japan was becoming more. Um, westernized and they started having more western influence such like the Edo period and the shogunate and all that other type stuff started to come to an end so basically um, the uh, four beasts actually guard the, these, this gate of hell and these the gate became opened and these warriors gotta go and destroy and kill shit and basically restore the gate back to what it was. Alright, so let's take a look at what the game is. As you can see here, I'm playing on my actual home console, my AES. The story mode. Now it's basically kind of like Samurai Showdown and it's got your um, your slashes, your kicks. But one thing is definitely different is you sh the D button is used as like um, a deflect, which is actually really cool and it can actually set your opponent up for a devastating move. And there's two modes in here. It's like a speed and a um, power mode. Speed makes combinations and putting combinations together easier, whereas the power one is focusing for more on power. See, so as you can see, you can select offensive energy mode, ultimate attack. I usually go for the power. Now, the first thing you're going to notice about this game is the fucking graphics are bad as shit. This game has some of the best graphics that I've ever seen on the Neo Geo. It plays basically at Street Fighter-esque type moves, but um, more focusing, like I said, on, here's a power move, more focusing on combinations and strikes, very similar to Samurai Showdown. This game is very highly regarded as being not only graphically superior, but also being a very well-balanced game in general and easy to get into. And unfortunately, this this game, since it came out in 1997, I think got kind of overshadowed by the Samurai Showdown series because the Samurai Showdown series was way more popular. And in a sense, most people regard this as better than the Samurai Showdown series. And for good reason. Because all in all, the game is smooth, it plays well, it's balanced, and it's graphically fucking the shit. All the characters have different weapons, personalities. Um, my character I can actually kind of change into kind of like um, a Dragon Ball Z-esque um, Super Saiyan. But um, I forget how to actually do it. I haven't played this game in a long time. Now if you look at the backgrounds, you'll see how really detailed they are. How crisp everything looks. And like I said, this game came out in 1997, and 
I think at that point it was really pushing the Neo Geo to its limits. As you can see right there, the combos come out really smooth. You can put together a chain of whatever tacks you like. There's no uh, predetermined or set combos. It basically focuses a lot on basically your inputs and seeing what you can chain together. In speed mode, you could actually do a lot more and get higher hits, so which is really cool. Now, here's the thing about this game. This game, like I said, fell in the shadow of Samurai Showdown and unfortunately was only released for the Neo Geo AES, MVS, and the CD. Now, it did actually come out for PlayStation 2 as a compilation with uh, Last Blade 2, but unfortunately it only came out in Japan, which fucking sucks because this game should have deserved a US release. And unfortunately, that's what fucking sucks, because everybody should get, be able to experience how awesome this game is. Damn, I got fucked. But this is a game that I highly, highly recommend. Just the graphics alone, it looks like a fucking portrait. And... It does separate itself from the Samurai Showdown series in the sense that, like I said, it focuses high on combos, it's got different types of movesets, it, um, the combat is way smoother. And the characters have a lot of personality too, that's what I like. And you can actually kill um, uh, you can actually kill the opponents, but they're actually a lot harder to do than Samurai Showdown. You have to time it right in order to get the right um, uh, slash in order to kill them. So making it not as easy, and you have to actually work for um, executing them. And this fucker is fucked. As you can see, the game the game also has a lot of challenge. But even though it's challenging, it's not frustrating challenge. It's really fun to play. It's easy to get into, but it's one of those type of games that's kind of hard to master. Um it's very addicting. Like, once you play this game, you will not be able to put it down. Because it's just looking at a painting come to life. The designers and all went all out on this one, I believe. And took their time with attention to detail. The music is actually really outstanding. It's a combination. Some stages don't even have music. It's more just... Uh, the sound effects of just um, the goings on in the background, like you'll hear dogs, you hear just wind, which is really cool. Adds a lot of element to the game. And actually, just seeing it on screen doesn't do it justice. It's a really good looking game. Now, in conclusion, if you can get a hold of this game, I mean, whether AES or MVS, I highly recommend it. I don't highly doubt there's any Neo Geo owners who do not own this game. It's one of these games that is a must-own. It's been highly regarded. Um, 
as being an actual absolute sequel to Samurai Showdown, because since the Samurai Showdown series and the uh, story itself is a hundred years before this, I mean, yeah, before this, it's a worthy sequel, and that's why I don't understand why SNK came out with the Samurai Showdown 5, because technically the series could have ended just as 4, and this would have been the successor. So, it's a shame they didn't continue it. It's kind of fucked up and never came here. If you get a chance to play this game, please do. If you need to get on, play it on emulation, go the fuck ahead and do it. Because you know what? It's a worthwhile game. It's worthwhile trying. The graphics, the animation, the gameplay, it's all there. You can probably... You pro uh, there's highly doubt there's anybody out there that's going to call this a shitty game. It is probably one of the best fighting games ever made. And it's a shame it's an underrated gem and it should be checked out. Alright then, take care. I hope you've enjoyed. See ya.